Happy New Year! This coming year holds some really exciting astronomy events that I think you need to be aware of. Today I'll tell you about 5 categories of these astronomical events, as well as go down into specifics of to which events I'm looking forward to and something that you should keep your eye out for. First up is conjunctions. Conjunctions are some of my favorite events of the year because many of them are visible to the naked eye. And here are my top 3 conjunctions of the year. All screenshots are from Stellarium, from the Eastern Time Zone. First up is the Mars-Neptune conjunction on April 29, 2024. This is in the wee hours of the morning around 5 am. And if you've never been able to star hop to find Neptune, this is your perfect opportunity. The next conjunction is my favorite and has been on my calendar since the Jupiter-Saturn conjunction in 2020. And this one is the Jupiter-Mars conjunction on August 14th. This is more manageable as they're visible earlier in the night. This is from 3 a.m. and they are a mere 18 arc minutes apart. I'm really excited for this one because I'll be able to fit both of these planets into the field of view of my camera and telescope. My third conjunction is the super conjunction between the Moon, Mars, and Saturn. Unfortunately, this is very early in the morning around sunrise, so it'll be difficult to see. And this is two days before the total solar eclipse. I'll be on the road, so I'm hoping I can catch it from my drive down south. Next category is comets. There are several comets heading our way in 2024, and two of them are expected to be visible to the naked eye. And they're today's subjects. First comet is a periodic comet discovered in 1812 on a 71-year orbital period named 12P Pons Brooks. It's expected to be at a magnitude of 4.2 at perihelion on April 21, 2024 which is technically visible to the naked eye from dark skies. It'll be at its closest approach to Earth on June 2nd, 2024, with an expected magnitude of 6.3, visible with binoculars. The second comet is supposed to be mind-blowing. It's C2023A3 Suchin Shan Atlas. As the name suggests, it was discovered in 2023. It was cataloged in February, but it was discovered early in January. Perhelion will be on September 27th with an expected magnitude of, get this, 0.2. In 2023, Saturn at opposition was at magnitude 0.4, and it was clearly visible from my Boreal 8 backyard. So this is going to be a little bit brighter at perihelion, and it'll be visible from the southern hemisphere before perihelion. And this comet gets even better, because at its closest approach to Earth, it's expected to be at a magnitude of minus 0.9, which is incredibly bright, and I think you'll be able to see that from pretty much anywhere. All of the expected brightnesses that I mentioned are just predictions, and they can change for better or worse. I'll talk about these comments and other comments in future videos. The next category in the list is meteor showers. The Eta Aquarius meteor shower will peak on the night of May 6th. It'll be near the new moon, and it can produce up to 60 meteors an hour. I'm really looking forward to this one. Next meteor shower on the list is the Perseids, peaking on the night of August 11th. The quarter moon that night sets around midnight, allowing for a moonless peak of the shower around 2 a.m. Unfortunately, the Geminids will compete with the moon next year. It'll be much harder to see than it was this year, but you should still keep your eye out for fireballs around mid-December at its peak. Next category on the list is Solar Maximum. The sun has been putting on a show for the last year, and it hadn't even reached maximum. Solar Cycle 25 is predicted to be at maximum from January all the way to October 2024. And this is the perfect time to get yourself some eclipse glasses to look for sunspots. Save those eclipse glasses because you may need them for another event. If you have a hydrogen alpha telescope, then you can expect to see many more filaments and prominences around the sun. And this also increases the likelihood of auroras here on Earth. Remember to never look at the sun without proper eye protection. And never point the telescope to the sun without a proper filter. Next category on the list is eclipses. So there are four eclipses happening in the next year. Two lunar and two solar. Apologies to all the moon lovers out there because I'm going to skip talking about the lunar eclipses because they're both penumbral eclipses. Well, the second one is like 3% partial, so yeah. Going backwards in time, on October 2nd, there will be an annular solar eclipse visible from South South America in Chile and Argentina. This one will be rare in terms of how many people will actually be able to see it. And last but not least, April 8th, 2024. The biggest show of the year, the total solar eclipse cutting across North America. The path of totality cuts through the continent and hundreds of millions of people will be able to see at least part of the eclipse and tens of millions are expected to travel to the path of totality. I gave away eclipse glasses for the annular eclipse this past October. I plan to do the same before this upcoming eclipse, so stay tuned for that if you don't already have one. And if you can, I encourage you to try and see the eclipse 
during totality. I'll talk more about the eclipse in upcoming videos. So these are just a few of the astronomical events that are happening in 2024. Are you excited about any of the events that I mentioned or maybe you know of an event that I forgot to mention? Let me know in the comments below. I wish you all a very happy new year. I hope to catch you all in our next astronomy adventure. Clear skies.